Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing from Penn National Racecourse in Grantville, Pennsylvania. It's Breeders' Cup Day, Saturday, November the 7th, and this is my day at the track.com race of the day. I'm going to focus on race 5 this evening, folks, 8.20. 8 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a six furlong sprint on a dirt track. Three year olds and up race for a claiming purse of $23,000. Contenders number three, Joa Queen Memphis. Number five, Snuck in the Forest. The paired entry of number one, Indio, and the stablemate, number one, A, Hail to the Cat on my list, along with number six, Shameless Risk. Number three, Joa Queen Memphis takes a slight class drop this evening, has hit the board in power run fashion each of his last five, winning in his fifth race back. Number five, Snuck in the Forest, a six to one shot, is the speed leader in this claiming field, sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt, and has hit the board in two of his last three, including a power run win in his third race back. Race 5 summary, number 3, Joa Queen Memphis tops my contenders list, which also includes number 5, Snuckin' in the Forest, number 1, Indio with a stable mate, number 1, A Hail to the Cat on the list with number 6, Shameless Risk, 3516 in the 5th tonight from Penn Nat. A couple of bonus long shots for you as usual. Let's go to Charlestown first, race 4. Number 5, Dr. Britt, 6 to 1 in the morning line, takes a 4 level computerized class drop. Nice speed for the six and a half for a long sprint. And they race at the Big Am, the Meadowlands in New Jersey. Uh, tonight as well, race eight, the nine to two shot, number five. Custer drops in class is the speed leader in this optional claiming field, racing at or about a mile 70 yards on the turf. So handicapping from Penn National on Breeders' Cup Day, Saturday, November the 7th, Rick Datum for dayofthetrack.com, where you can wager on these races, is also watching them in high definition on your high-speed internet connection, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.